Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president attended the Team USA basketball game, hosted the Baylor University Lady Bears basketball team, and proposed a STEM master teacher form, while the first lady traveled to Philadelphia for Let's Move, and to Birmingham to tour tornado recovery. The vice president spoke to seniors about retirement security, and the administration hosted a Google Plus hangout on local foods. That's July 13th to July 19th, or the biennial Bring Back the Gold edition. On Friday, the First Lady held a reception in honor of the Cooper Hewitt Design Awards in the East Room. The one thing that I ask young people is that when you get in these seats, uh, that you reach back as well, because that's how we give back. Your responsibility is to make a place for the next set of young people when you get these opportunities, when you become the Secretary of the Smithsonian or the First Lady of the United States or the President of the United States, whatever one you choose, <laughs> that you always find a way to keep bringing other young people along with you. We got that? It's a fair deal? On Sunday, this day in history, one year ago, on July 15, 2011, President Obama got a visit from an icon of the civil rights movement, Ruby Bridges, who is at the White House to see a painting that commemorates her personal and historic milestone hanging on a wall outside of the Oval Office. The painting depicts my walk into um, William Bryant School integrating the public school systems in 1960. Can you still put your head back into the Oh, can Absolutely. Still, you can still kind of go back there? Yes. And I do every day. On Monday, the vice president spoke to community leaders representing more than 60 seniors groups from across the country, where he highlighted how the congressional Republican budget would affect the programs middle class Americans depend on for retirement this security. Challenge, and it's a real challenge, as a pretense to dismantle these programs. And the president and I refused to shift the burden on the backs of the people who work so darn hard their whole life, who earn their retirement. Some things are worth fighting for, folks. And this is worth fighting for. That evening, the president attended the United States versus Brazil men's basketball game at the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. Uh, I know you guys got to concentrate. We just want to come by, say hello, say congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, you know, we couldn't have better representatives for the United States. So uh, I know you guys are going to bring back the gold, but I also know you guys will uh, uh, you know, be just a class act over in London, but uh, anyway, you guys are going to do great. I'm making this prediction right now. Joe Biden's granddaughter, who is named Maisie, Maisie Biden, will be a Division I player and may be in the WNBA. On Tuesday, John Carson, White House Director of Public Engagement, joined inspiring women leaders in the local food movement at a Google Plus hangout to hear their stories and answer their questions in honor of the unveiling of the 2.0 version of the USDA's Know Your Farmer, Know Your Food Compass, an innovative digital guide and map that highlights USDA-supported local food projects around the country. And now, welcome to the East Wing Wednesday, your guide to everything that's happening with the First Lady. Today, we travel to Philadelphia for a Let's Move event with mayors and local elected officials, then to Birmingham to visit tornado rebuilding sites. In the morning, the First Lady traveled to Philadelphia, where she joined local elected officials from across the country to announce public and private sector commitments to get our kids healthier as a part of her Let's Move initiative. It's about supporting leaders like you who are on the front lines, our mayors, uh, working to solve our childhood obesity epidemic so that all of our children in this country can grow up healthy. Back at 1600, the Domestic Policy Council was hosting a STEM Master Teacher Roundtable to roll out the president's proposal for a new national teacher core to recognize and reward leading educators in science, technology, engineering, and math. As the first lady left Philadelphia for Birmingham, Alabama, President Obama welcomed the 2012 NCAA women's basketball champion Baylor Lady Bears to the White House to congratulate them on their historic 40-0 season and to highlight the commitment they've made to their community, including their work with students and the homeless in the Waco, Texas area. What you got here? <laughs> Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Y'all got your, your own Dr. Pepper brand, huh? All right, well, let's, let's, let's get a picture with the, the Dr. Pepper. Here. There you go. Hi, how are you? Fine. What are you giggling about? Come on. Well, you got another Dr. Pepper for me? Actually, it's the it's same one, but I just wanted to take Arriving in Birmingham, the First Lady was briefed on tornado recovery by local officials. 
The First Lady visited the state with the president in 2011, just days after the powerful and devastating storms that damaged homes and businesses all across Alabama. Now, a year later, she saw the rebuilding progress that's been made and visited with some of those affected by last year's tornadoes, including the kids of Camp Noah, which was created to help children play, process, and heal from their disaster experience. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your East and your West Wing week.